All right, we've got a 2004 290 SLX. It's a single engine, 496 mag. Name of the boat is Grandpa's Toy 2. She has a windlass, radar arch, stainless steel windshield, tons of seating up here in the bow. There's quite a bit of storage under both seats. In that middle compartment there, there is actually a uh, cooler with overboard drainage. You have a spotlight on the front, as I said, windless with helm controls. You can see she is a yellow boat. She's a beautifully maintained. Does have about 715 hours on her. Recently had the risers, manifolds, and 100 hour service completed. Nice thing about the single engine with the Bravo 3 is it's going to give you a lot of efficiencies. And we can step right here in the back of the boat. And at the transom here, we've got two storage areas. You can store lines, fenders. Then you have a nice walkthrough that leads into a very spacious cockpit. On the starboard side, you do have an entertainment wet bar there with storage. And down here, you'll see that we do have a cockpit refrigerator. That's a uh, Norcol. Got some additional storage for a wine cooler or all your picnic essentials down below. And then here we do have, once again, a cooler for some of your liquor storage or a bottle of champagne. And then you do have your sink. Comes up, pushes back down. And you can use this as a cutting board. It is replaceable, it is starboard, but you probably would just want to bring extra cutting board on with you. The boat is equipped with a port side back to back lounger that folds down and turns into a little sun lounge. On the port side, we do have a very spacious head with a vacuum flush freshwater head. And you do have shore power. And you've got your stereo and your main power with your AC converter and outlets and refrigerator. So it's a dual voltage refrigerator. Looking aft, you can see you've got a lot of nice seating there. Sets up nicely. And at the helm, you notice this is a fairly well-equipped bow rider. It has autopilot, has a chart plotter, and with autopilot, it was equipped with hydraulic steering. So that's a nice plus if you're cruising down to the keys. Walk-through windshield, once again, it gets you up to the bow. You've got tons of nice seating up here. Boat is in fantastic shape. Nice walk through windshield. Raise up the hatch here. Nothing great about access to this hatch. It's fantastic space with this only being a single engine. A lot of storage right in front of the uh, firewall there. It separates the bilge and your storage area. And you get down here to the meat and potatoes, you can see that the boat is extremely clean. Dual batteries with switch. There's your inverter. Has the Corsa through hull exhaust. You can see how clean the risers and manifolds are. And you can see right on the top there, 427 2011 was the last service. And this is your 496 high output, so that's 425 horsepower. And you see there in the back, you do have the Sea Star, so you've gone from a power steering to a hydraulic steering, which allows you to have the autopilot. And there's the uh, hydraulics. Fluid fill for your stern drive, and it is a Bravo 3. Once again, you can see both sides, new risers, manifolds, just in fantastic shape. Oh, on the starboard side behind the helm, we do have some great storage. It looks like they've got some of their uh, clothing there for when they're out enjoying themselves. Nice fit and finish in the interior. This also doubles as a windbreak. When you're out there on those cold winter days, you'd be amazed how much warmer you are with that door closed and the windshield shut. It does have a full camper enclosure and Isinglass, but down here in Florida, you won't use it many times. I think they've used it once. If you have any questions, stop by and see Shane at Galati Yacht Sales at 12030 Gandhi Boulevard in St. Petersburg, 
My number is 727-647-5557. Thanks for taking the time to view the 290 SLX 2004, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.